Welcome design students. In this video I want to show you how to sign up for Sketchfab. And Sketchfab is a website where you can upload models and 3D things that you make and it also gives you a chance to actually put them textured and lit and give them sort of a 3D um, effect so you can rotate around them and, and look at them in 3D. 3D artists often sell their work on Sketchfab and uh, it's just a really good place to uh, exhibit your work. But one of the coolest things about Sketchfab is that you can embed your little animations. In particular, you can embed them in your ArtStation portfolios. And it's really easy to do because when you go to upload a new artwork, all you have to do is enter the link of your Sketchfab model. And then you get an image like I showed you. and it results in this. Signing up for Sketchfab is really easy. All you gotta do is click sign up and you need a valid email address. You may have to confirm it. I'm not sure, I have not done it in a little while. You can choose your username here. And um, if you have an Epic Games account, you can sign up with that. If you have a Google account, you can sign up with that, but be sure that you have access to confirm the email if you need to. Once you have an account, you'll have a profile and then you are will be able to upload work. Now when you click upload you will get this but what I was trying to show you is that uh, yeah here it is. Uh, you will get nine upload credits per month and each time you upload something you use one. So to upload your work you first have to export it as an FBX file. So to upload your work to Sketchfab, you have to export it first out of your 3D program as an FBX file or some other universal 3D file. So let's do that first. So here's the uh, chair model I worked on recently, and you may have done this as well. So this might be a good, more, good place to start. So what you do is you select all the objects that constitute the model. Don't select any lights or ground planes or anything else in the scene just the object and then you're going to export it. You go to file, export selection and then it's going to put it in the scenes file of your in the scenes folder of your project file. You're going to choose FBX but just notice there are lots of other ones here. We're going to use FBX and name it something and then over here in the settings over here I don't know why this is not showing them all. But over here, you need to make sure that some of these things are checked. You want to make sure that smoothing groups is checked here, and smooth mesh is checked. And then very importantly, you want to be sure to open this embed media and check that one. Everything else should be OK, and just click Export Selection. And then you go back to Sketchfab, and you click Upload. And then you can browse by clicking this little link here. And you can go find the FBX file that you exported. And click Open. And then you click Upload. And in here, while it's doing its thing, you can describe the object. You can say more about it, you can give it a category, you can tag it, you can allow comments, you can restrict it by age, you can say whether you want to allow people to download it or not. But once this pops up, you can click this and it will load it and you can see that this is what it's going to look like. Now, I want you to notice that it's not textured, so we have to fix that. Click Edit 3D Settings. Actually, before we do that, let's click Save, and then click Edit 3D Settings. And then go to Materials. And here are the materials that are on your object. Now, I want you to notice that the named materials are both here. So this object has two material channels. Okay. Now, the base color here, if I click this little pull-down, 
it says that I can use a texture. And I can choose my texture, and my texture is uploaded with my object. So for the fabric, I'm going to choose the fabric texture. And there it is. And then for the wood texture, I'm going to choose the wood texture. And there that is. Now we can also adjust the roughness and the specular for these, and I think we should. So for the wood, I'm going to leave that one alone for now, but for the fabric, I think I'm going to pull the specular down quite a lot. You can see what happens there. And I'm going to pull the roughness up quite a lot. And I think I'll leave the wood alone, but let's see what we can do with that. Let's change to the wood. Dial the roughness down and you can see that it gets more shiny. Now there are a number of things up here that we can do. We can add post-processing filters here and see what they do. We can annotate it, in other words put notes on it. We can add animations. Um, we can do AR and VR stuff. But I want to work on lighting at the moment, so I want you to click lighting. And you can see here that we have different um, environments. Right now the environment is industrial room and that's sort of what's driving the reflections on our object. If we change the orientation you can see that the lighting changes. I'm going to turn on ground shadows. You can see what that does. Now if we change the orientation the ground shadow changes. And let's see what happens if we we can soften up the shadow a little bit. Play around with its size and its intensity. And then if we go further up here, you can see that we can change the lights here and we can change their color. I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe leave those off for now. And then one final thing I want to show you is you can come over here to the scene and we can change the field of view. For example, I think I'm going to just leave that like it was. We can turn on the wireframe on the model. We can change the background to a color if we want. Or we can give it an, the environment background that we have. Or what I like are these background images and we can give it a nice sort of you know, clean light, dirty light, whatever you want. But I like this one a lot. So I think I'm going to leave that just like that. And once you get it like you want, you click Save Settings and Publish. And then you can go to your model. Now this link right here is what you would put in ArtStation. So you copy that and then you would go to ArtStation, click Upload, New Artwork, or if you've already uploaded the chair, actually let me edit one. I'm just going to go to my manage my portfolio and I have one that already has furniture in it. It is this one. So I'm just going to click Sketchfab and paste that URL in there and click Save. And in a few minutes, it will pop up right here. So now, if I click Save, I can show you what that looks like. Go back to um, my profile. Find that apartment. And down at the bottom would be the new chair. And there it is. So that's how you upload your model to Sketchfab. And I'll see you in the next video.